Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning April 1st, 2019. And this will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising or if it's your Venus sign, it may also apply. But as always, keep an open mind. They are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way. So let's see what's coming up for Aquarius in the week starting April 1st, 2019. I'm using the Morgan Greer tarot deck for you. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, Strength card, so recovery from a difficult situation, absolutely. The Star, the Fool, Eight of Cups. Four of Pentacles. I feel like this is standing up for yourself. You know your worth. This is not compromising. This is standing up for your, your standards, not lowering the bar for anyone. Six of Wands, which is the way to go. And the Knight of Rods, okay, or the Knight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is a card of growth, of expansion. So as the general energy, this is talking about moving on, moving forward, moving upwards. Uh, it can talk about a new job or a promotion or some sort of bonus um, because it is increase, it is development. It can talk about working together with your partner on the relationship or working together with your um, colleagues, okay, towards a common goal, a common purpose there. Um, this can be working on your own ideas, starting a business, making your own products, okay very creative energy that does bring you reward so it's not creativity just for the sake of it it actually brings you concrete rewards particularly financial so we have ten of swords okay if i can pick up the cards three of wands the strength card the star card which is your energy as well. The Fool, Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Rods. So what I'm seeing here for some of you, you're walking away from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because this person is playing games with you uh, very hot and cold, very, you know, very much like player energy, whether they're male or female, doesn't matter. Um, and I feel like you're turning your back on this person for the last time, is what I want to say with the Ten of Swords. You've been hurt for the last time, you've been betrayed for the last time, they shattered your hopes for the, for the last time. Um, this is, I feel like there may have been a strong attraction to this person absolutely which has made it difficult for you to walk away from them in the past however with the strength card now you're in a much better position to um, control your emotions uh, control your uh, impulses because I feel like it's a very impulsive connection uh, or they make you feel very very impulsive they make you act without really thinking things through for, for whatever reason okay um, and it could just be a very intense connection, very passionate connection. So, you, you know, rational thinking goes out the window, uh, which can happen. But with the strength card here, I feel like the, the pain, the disappointment, the sorrow, the betrayal experienced in the past has made you stronger in the sense of it's made your resolution stronger. Okay, you see yourself for exactly what you're worth, for exactly what you deserve. And you're now no longer afraid or for whatever reason, unable to, or yeah, let's say unable to um, demand your worth, okay? With the strength card. To demand to be treated the way you deserve. To demand uh, reciprocity, okay? So you're really, you're really done with a person here. Completely turning your back. Your heart is light as a feather. There's no doubt. There's no regret. 
There's no emotional baggage you're taking with you from the situation. There's no room for them to come back. There's no more strings for them to pull, buttons for them to push. This is stability, independence, self-sufficiency. And the Six of Rods can also show up as your victory energy and moving on. Maybe you're choosing to focus on your work or you're choosing to focus on yourself, your health, and giving yourself a makeover, wardrobe changes, uh, focusing on your business and seeing it grow exponentially, focusing on whatever it is that you touch, you turn to gold. So as soon as you take your energy back from pretty much wasting it on this person, wherever else you put it, it will grow, okay? It will develop exponentially. For others of you, this is energy that applies with work, you know, leaving a dead-end job uh, or a string of dead-end jobs, completely turning your back, taking the bull by the horns and going for your dream because that's what the star card is, taking a chance on your dream with courage because the Eight of Cups is also a card of courage and strength. She's wearing red there. You're, you have, you're in a place where you feel stable enough financially to do this to invest in this and this is being well received this is great feedback great comments exposure and this is progress both these cards talk about progress success absolutely fast okay so all you have to do it, <laughs> as if it's you know no big deal but all you have to do is take your energy back from a situation that it's just uh, a black hole of energy for you and not only that it doesn't only suck out all your positive energy the situation or this person or whatever but it feeds negative energy back to you so it's just unhealthy all around and this is something that you've been aware of, but for whatever reason, there was always something there that prevented you from completely cutting this situation off or out of your life. Um, and I'm not saying that in a judgmental way. I'm saying it as there was, there was always something else that you wanted to try to make it work. We've all been there, me, me included. But there was always something else that you wanted to try to make it work. You weren't at peace to walk away from this before. Whereas now you are. Okay, you are. So you've completely gone through the cycle with the Ten of Swords. And you're feeling confident and you have a clear head and you are at peace when you're turning your back on the situation. Okay, so that is completely learning the lesson. That's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. Okay. And hey, if you're in a different part of the cycle, don't beat yourself up. Don't rush yourself. It takes as long as it takes. The important thing is to get to the point where your heart is light when you turn your back on a situation, when you have no doubt, when you have no more what ifs, okay? So I feel like that's what it's about for a lot of you during this time, which is a really beautiful place to be, truly. Because you start to heal and you start to soar and you see what you're truly capable of when you're putting yourself in the right situations with the right people, people who raise you up, people who inspire you, people who encourage you as you do them people who value you as you value them okay so it's beautiful energy so let's see is there anything else that aquarius need to know Aquarius people need to know for the week beginning april 1st what would you like to clarify so yeah queen of swords page of pentacles and the empress so as soon as you cut out and this is the mini secret tarot deck. That's why they're so small. Um, as soon as you cut out. Oh, it's not swords. It's wands. But yeah. Same, same message. As soon as you use your power. Because again, this is confidence. This is courage. It's also very much a card of... Um, What do, I, what do I want to say? It's when you know you're beautiful, when you know what you have to offer, when you know that you are deserving. Not in an egotistical way, but you just, it is what it is. You are, you know. 
when when you shine and it's realizing your own power your own worth the page of pentacles is all about new ideas and it's you're taking that coin back from something that bears no fruit and it actually does more damage than bearing no fruit to to be stale energy is one thing but to bring out negative energy out from a situation you put positive energy into that's even worse so you're taking that coin back you're saying enough is enough and you're investing it in yourself with the empress whether you're male or female you're investing it in yourself and you're coming into your power you're coming into your own this is growth this is beauty this is power confidence success money love whatever you want you can have is basically what this card is telling you you just have to invest in yourself and that's not in a selfish type of way absolutely not it is from a fair perspective of i do have a lot to offer the healthiest and balanced thing to to do and to the situation to be in is where i get what i give that's all. That's all it needs to be. You're not saying, oh, I want to be put on a pedestal, do nothing and receive everything. You're not saying that because you know that's wrong. But you're saying, I want to receive what I give. And I'm not going to compromise anymore. Okay? And that's when you truly come into your power. And honestly, believe me, with the star, the fool, the empress, you can have whatever you want. Okay? I want you to really let that sink in. Okay? So, Aquarius, what a beautiful reading for you. Let me know how these messages are making sense to you. This is energy that I feel with these major arcana cards can play out like over a couple of weeks at least. Okay? Because again, we're talking about karmic cycles and lessons. So it can take less or longer depending on where you are. So just go with it. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Okay? Let me know what you think here. Uh, remember to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, whatever other sign you want to watch. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.